For decades, countries like Saudi Arabia have relied heavily on oil as their primary source of income, selling massive amounts of petroleum to the U.S. In the 1970s, Saudi Arabia emerged as the world's leading oil exporter and the country's economy boomed. But over time, the global oil demand has declined, and with increasing concerns about climate change, countries in the Gulf region are under pressure of finding new ways to sustain their economies, which is why Saudi Arabia and its neighbors are building multi-billion megacities. These massive construction projects, such as Dubai and The Line, are designed to attract investment, create thousands of jobs, and boost the local economy. Today, I'll reveal to you why Saudi Arabia and its neighbors are investing billions of dollars into mega cities like Doha, Dubai, and the line. Watch until the end to discover some shocking features of these futuristic projects and the impact they will have on the global economy. Now, in recent years, the global oil demand has decreased significantly with the rise of renewable energy sources and increasing concerns about climate change. In fact, According to the International Energy Agency, the global oil demand in 2020 was estimated to be around 91.3 million barrels per day, which represents a drop of around 9.3 million barrels per day from the previous year's average of 100.6 million barrels per day. This was largely due to the COVID-19 pandemic. Now, even though the global oil demand was back to 100 million barrels per day, global oil producers know that oil and gas are not the future. As a result, countries like Saudi Arabia, which have relied heavily on oil exports, are facing a new economic challenge, a new impulse for diversification. So, how are rich Gulf neighbors responding to this new urge? Well, the United Arab Emirates has been working on diversifying its economy through various initiatives, such as the UAE Vision 2021 and the Abu Dhabi Economic Vision 2030. These initiatives aim to create a knowledge-based economy that is less dependent on oil and more focused on innovation, entrepreneurship, and sustainable development. In fact, the UAE's non-oil economy was projected to grow 5.6% in 2022, and Dubai's largest bank anticipated a more moderate expansion of 3.5% for 2023. And Saudi Arabia is not left out. The leading oil producer is actively investing in renewable energy and has set a target of generating 50% of its electricity from renewable sources by 2030. By doing so, Saudi Arabia hopes to become a leader in the global transition to clean energy. This just demonstrates that there is a growing recognition among policymakers in the Gulf region that continued reliance on oil is not sustainable in the long term. Now, let me reveal to you something crazy about what I have called the Dubai effect. You see, Dubai is one of the fastest growing cities in the world. According to Dubai Statistics Center, Dubai is one of the strongest economies in the Middle East, contributing a massive $48.8 billion in GDP to the United Arab Emirates. The city has become synonymous with mega projects, with its towering skyscrapers, man-made islands, and extravagant shopping malls. Dubai's economy is no longer solely reliant on oil exports. Instead, the city has become a massive ecosystem for finance, trade, and tourism. The city's tourism sector alone contributes nearly 20% of Dubai's GDP. In 2022 alone, received 14.36 million international overnight visitors. The construction of iconic landmarks like the Burj Khalifa, the world's tallest building, has made Dubai a major destination for tourists and investors alike. And that's not all. Dubai has also become a center for technology and innovation. The Dubai Internet City, for instance, is a free economic zone that provides incentives for technology companies to establish their regional headquarters in the city. In fact, according to a report by Dubai Internet City, the free zone is home to over 1,600 companies including Microsoft, IBM, Cisco, and HP, 
and employs more than 20,000 people from over 100 countries. In 2020, Dubai's Internet City's contribution to the UAE GDP was estimated at $5.1 billion. Now, Dubai's construction industry has always been known for its ambition, scale, and pace. In 2010, the city opened the world's tallest building, the Burj Khalifa, which stands 828 meters tall. But Dubai did not stop there. In 2020, it announced the construction of the tallest tower in the world, the Dubai Creek Tower, which is set to be over 1,000 meters tall upon completion. The Burj Khalifa and the Dubai Creek Tower are just two examples of Dubai's impressive skyline. The city has over 200 high-rise buildings including the world's largest shopping center, the Dubai Mall, which spans over 5.9 million square feet, and the world's largest indoor theme park, IMG Worlds of Adventure. And it's not just Dubai that is building innovations that are not oil related. Saudi Arabia has been investing heavily in mega projects to diversify its economy beyond oil. The line, for example, is a huge linear city that aims to become a hub for innovation and sustainability. The project will be powered entirely by renewable energy and will be home to a million people when completed. I'll talk about the line in more detail a little bit later. And here's another less talked about major economic player in the Gulf region, Doha, Qatar. And if you haven't been to Doha, imagine a bustling metropolis filled with ultra-modern skyscrapers, state-of-the-art infrastructure, and a thriving business community. You see, Doha has undergone a remarkable transformation in the past few decades. According to the World Bank, Qatar has the highest GDP per capita in the world, and Doha is at the forefront of this economic success. The city is home to some of the largest oil and gas companies in the world, including Qatar Petroleum, which is the third largest oil producer in the world. In addition, Doha has established itself as a major financial center, with the Qatar Financial Center attracting businesses from around the world. You see, Doha hosted the 2022 FIFA World Cup, one of the most anticipated events in the world of sports. The country's Minister of Finance revealed in 2017 that $500 million was being spent each week to create a monumental transformation of its infrastructure. From roads to hotels, stadium to airport upgrades, everything was being crafted to perfection to welcome the world with open arms. The 2022 FIFA World Cup in Qatar was the most expensive in history, with the country estimated to have spent over $220 billion in the past 12 years since being chosen as the host. That's more than 15 times the amount Russia spent on the 2018 event. Every penny invested in the development was intended to make the World Cup a grand celebration of sports, culture, and hospitality, a dream that would later be realized. Now, let's take a closer look at the crazy projects that's being constructed in Saudi Arabia. You see, the line is a visionary endeavor of Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman that will be built from scratch in the desert. It's set to be constructed in Neil, the forthcoming city-state coined from the Greek word for new and the Arabic term for future. The futuristic city will occupy an area the size of Belgium along the northern coast of Saudi Arabia's Red Sea. Bold claims have been made about this 500 billion development, with leaked strategy documents detailing plans for an artificial moon, bio-luminous beaches, drone-run taxis, robotic housekeepers, and a prehistoric attraction exhibiting animatronic dinosaurs. Now, the line will cover a distance of approximately 170 kilometers and accommodate a population of up to 1 million people. Its visionary approach to sustainability, technology, and quality of life is what makes Line City truly one of a kind. One of the most intriguing aspects of the line is its commitment to sustainability. The city will be powered entirely by renewable energy sources, mainly solar and wind power, which is expected to reduce carbon emissions significantly. Moreover, the city is designed to have zero cars, relying on electric autonomous vehicles and public transportation systems. This will not only reduce pollution levels, but also create a healthier living environment for residents. In terms of technology, the line is expected to be one of the most advanced cities in the world. 
The city will be built with the latest in smart city technologies, such as artificial intelligence and the Internet of Things, making it one of the most innovative and efficient cities in the world. The city's design will also allow for a seamless digital experience with high-speed Internet and 5G connectivity throughout the city. Now, Line City is set to be built with a concept of walkability in mind, where everything will be within walking distance, making it easier for residents to stay active and healthy. The city will prioritize green spaces with over 95% of the city covered in greenery, promoting a healthy and sustainable lifestyle. The city is expected to create over 380,000 jobs, contributing significantly to the country's economy. And the project is expected to attract huge foreign investment, with many global companies already expressing their interest in setting up operations within the city. Thriving in the desert, Mazdar City is a truly remarkable and innovative project, which aims to be the world's first zero carbon, zero waste city. One of the most fascinating aspects of Mazdar City is its unique design and architecture. The city was planned to be built in a way that maximizes natural light and shade while minimizing the impact of the harsh desert climate. The buildings are designed to be energy efficient and they incorporate sustainable materials and technologies such as solar panels, wind turbines, and geothermal energy systems. The city streets are designed to be pedestrian friendly with shaded walkways and plenty of green spaces. Mazdar City aims to be entirely self-sufficient in terms of energy use. It has a massive 10 megawatt solar power plant, which generates enough electricity to power the entire city. The city also has a cutting edge waste management system that uses advanced technologies to recycle and reuse waste materials. And that's not all. Mazdar City has attracted a wide range of companies and startups that are focused on developing sustainable technologies and solutions. One of the most notable examples is the startup company Climeworks, which has developed a technology to capture carbon dioxide from the air and turn it into useful products such as biofuels and fertilizer. But building a mega city from scratch is no easy feat. These projects are incredibly expensive and there are often challenges with infrastructure, logistics and workforce development. According to a report by BNC Network, a construction intelligence platform, the total value of construction projects in Dubai reached 135.6 billion in 2020. The construction of Burj Khalifa alone, the world's tallest building, cost a massive 1.5 billion and took six years to complete. Now, infrastructure is one of the biggest challenges in building mega cities in the Middle East. The harsh desert climate, frequent sandstorms, and limited water resource makes it difficult to construct and maintain infrastructure. For example, the Kingdom Tower in Jeddah, Saudi Arabia, is set to become the world's tallest building when completed. But constructing a one kilometer tall skyscraper in the middle of the desert is no easy feat. The tower requires a complex system of water and power supply, transportation and waste management infrastructure. And logistics is another challenge that's faced by developers building mega cities in the Gulf region. The high demand for construction materials, equipment and labor makes logistics a key factor in determining the success of a project. The construction of the 22 billion El Maktoum International Airport in Dubai, which aims to be the world's largest airport, requires the transportation of over 22 million cubic meters of concrete and 4 million tons of steel. Managing the supply chain for such a massive project requires careful planning and coordination. And the truth is, the Gulf region relies heavily on foreign workers, who makes up a large percentage of the workforce. However, there have been numerous reports of exploitation, abuse, and poor living conditions for these workers. The issue has gained international attention, and many companies are now taking steps to improve working conditions for their employees. For example, in 2020, the Qatar government announced a series of reforms to its labor laws, including abolishing the requirement for migrant workers to obtain an exit permit to leave the country and establishing a minimum wage. As if that's not all, the construction of massive skyscrapers, highways, and other infrastructure can have significant environmental consequences, including increased pollution and habitat destruction. 
In fact, the construction of Dubai's Palm Jumeirah, an artificial island shaped like a palm tree that cost an estimated $12 billion, involved extensive dredging and land reclamation work. Such human activity is detrimental to the environment. Despite other challenges, mega projects like the line in Dubai are continuing to transform the economies and landscape of the Gulf region. These cities are positioning themselves as leaders in the global transition to a more sustainable future, and more projects like this are likely to be announced in the coming decade. As these mega cities continue to take shape, they will be at the forefront of innovation, creativity, and sustainability, driving economic growth and attracting some of the world's brightest minds. Whether these new cities will revolutionize the way we live and work, only time will tell. If you enjoyed this video, hit the like and subscribe to the channel for more videos like this. And until next time, thanks for watching.